Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at how we can clean data. We clean data by removing outliers. An outlier is a piece of data that sits far away from the rest of our data. We can test for an outlier by checking if it falls outside of certain limits, um, which we sometimes call fences. Below are two possible tests. X is an outlier if, um, and in this particular test we're looking at whether um, it's in within 1.5 interquartile ranges um, or from our lower quartile and upper quartile. So if it's less than um, our lower quartile take away 1.5 interquartile ranges, um, then we would say it's an outlier. And if it's more than our upper quartile plus 1.5 interquartile ranges um, away, then we would say it's an outlier. We can also um, use this definition here. Um, if um, it's two standard deviations, um, sorry, if it's more than two standard deviations away from our mean, um, then we would say it's an outlier. So um, it's an outlier if we take our um, mean and we take away two standard deviations. If our point is less than that, then it's an outlier. Or if we take our mean and add on two standard deviations and it's more than that, it's, a, it's an outlier. So these are possible definitions of, of outliers. Um, sometimes we might use three standard deviations um, and sometimes we might specify um, more than 1.5 interquartile ranges of the way. Um, but these are the definitions we're going to be using in this video um, and in the next two examples will highlight how this works so in this example um, a group of people were asked to name as many characters from Harry Potter as possible in one minute the results are illustrated in this box and whisker plot we're going to use the definition of an outlier as being any data value more than 1.5 interquartile ranges away from the nearest quartile to determine if there are any outliers in this set. So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out um, what the interquartile range is. Once we've done that, we can work out what our lower fence is and our upper fence is, and then we can decide if any of the data is falling outside of them. Okay, so um, our interquartile range, um, well that's going to be the difference between our upper quartile and lower quartile. So we can see here our upper quartile is 13 and our lower quartile is 7. So our interquartile range is going to be 13 take away 7 which is 6. Okay, now to work, work out our upper fence, so um, that's going to be the upper limit um, that we can have. We're going to um, do our upper quartile <clears throat> plus one and a half times our interquartile range. So our upper quartile was 13. So we're going to do 13 plus one and a half times 1.5 times our interquartile range, which is six. So our upper fence is going to be equal to 13 plus 9, which is 22. Our lower fence is going to be, and that's going to be our lower quartile, which is 7. Take away 1.5 times our interquartile range. So that's going to be 7 take away 9. Um, which is going to be negative 2. Okay, so our upper fence is 22 and our lower fence is negative 2. Now our smallest value, well let's, let's just mark these over here so we can see where they are. So negative 2, well that's going to be over here somewhere. And um, we've got 22 which is going to be over here somewhere. So we can see that our lowest value 1 is on the right, sorry, our lowest value two is on the right side of the fence. Um, so that's okay. Um, our highest value, which is 24, um, well, that's on the wrong side of the fence. Okay, so um, we can see that 24 is an outlier. 
Yeah, so this lower value of two is okay, but this um, up, this highest value of 24 is an outlier. There, there might be other outliers as well, um, but we don't have the, the raw data here to, to be able to decide that. Um, our next step here then would be to redraw our box and whisker diagram and um, any outliers that we found we can mark with a cross. Okay, in this second example, we're going to have a look at how we might um, find an outlier from a frequency table. So, um, this table shows the wages of workers in a factory. We're going to use the definition of an outlier as anything more than two standard deviations away from the mean to determine if the wage of £145,000 um, is an outlier. So, we've got our wages in thousands of pounds and we've got our number of employees over here. So um, our first thing to do is, well, we need to know what the mean is and we also need to know what the standard deviation is. So I'm going to use a calculator to work that out. So because we've got a frequency table here, I'm going to first of all make sure that I'm in the right um, frequency, uh, sorry, the statistic um, setting so that I've got my frequency on. Okay, um, I'm now going to go into my stat mode and um, if I press number one, I can put in my data. The data is in thousands of pounds, um, but I should just be able to put in 10, 16, 20, and 145. So um, I'm gonna put 10, 16, 20, 45, and I'll fill in my frequencies as 18, 14, 4, and 1. Okay, so I can now press my AC and come out of that. Um, I'm now going to calculate with those um, statistics there. So if I press Shift and 1 to get into my stat mode here, and um, if I click on um, 5, and my mean is going to be given as 17. So I can write down x bar is equal to 17. And my standard deviation is 21.5. Okay, right, so um, our definition is anything more than two standard deviations away from the mean. So my um, lower fence, sorry, my upper fence is going to be equal to, um, and we're going to have 17 plus two times 21.6 and that's going to be 17 plus two times our answer there 60.3 and then our lower fence is going to be equal to um, and we're going to have 17 take away 2 times 21.6 Okay, so um, I'll get that value back up again, I think. And we're going to have 17 take away 2 times my answer. And we've got negative 26.3.
Okay, and so in order to answer this question, we only actually needed the upper fence, and the upper fence we've seen is 60.3. Now, because um, 145,000 um, is greater than um, 60.3 thousand, then that must be an outlier because it's above our upper fence. So we can then say, um, well, let's say 145 is greater than 60.3 um, so 145,000 is an outlier okay now um so what what would we would normally do now is if we've found an outlier, we need to decide whether we want to continue to use that in our calculation or not. Um, so sometimes we need to have a look at the context of of, of um, what's going on. In this particular context, when we've got the wages of workers in a factory, um, it seems that the person earning one hundred and forty five thousand uh, pound uh, must be some sort of um, uh, managing director or something, and it doesn't it doesn't really makes sense to include our managing director um, in in the calculations that we're doing when we're working out the wages of the workers of the factory um, so in this particular case we would clean the data by removing that 145,000 uh, pound but there might be other times where you would keep the outliers and if there's lots of outliers it might mean that you want to analyze those um, as a separate group and analyze those separately um, and sometimes we might choose to then um, recalculate everything um, without our outliers in it. Okay, um, I hope that makes sense. Um, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.